Hello and welcome to an itcoldefact.co.uk video. Uh, this video today actually relates uh, directly to my ability to record videos, uh, both for tutorials like this uh, and gaming purposes, uh, as I haven't been able to for a little while um, due to uh, Nvidia's Shadow Play uh, not working. It's um, it lost the save directory, uh, which I think is a fairly common problem for people. Uh, especially people using Windows 10. So it lost the save directory, which meant that I just couldn't save anything and it wouldn't let me change the directory. Um, so, uh, I'll just show you briefly exactly what I mean um, and then I'll tell you how I fixed it. Um, I have to give credit uh, to C Donkey on the uh, GeForce uh, official forums um, as that's where I found this fix. Um, so I'm not doing anything uh, new or interesting, but uh, I thought I'd create a video for it and share it widely with uh, the people that follow me, uh, just in case uh, anyone else uh, is having the same problem, really. So, uh, firstly, let's pull up the GeForce experience. So this is a problem related directly to people that have NVIDIA graphics cards uh, and use uh, GeForce's uh, inbuilt uh, recording software, which is uh, Shadowplay. So if we go to settings, uh, settings for share for the um, shadow play itself, and uh, in recordings, uh, now the problem I had was that I had a default temporary uh, file address, um, but the uh, videos file address was blank, uh, and when I clicked on the little dot, instead of it going to this screen here where I can select the save folder, uh, it was uh, actually just did nothing at all. So there was no way for me to set a save location, and because there was no save location, it wouldn't record a video. Bit of a problem. Anyway, uh, so first things first, click that off. Uh, when you do this, uh, just uh, click on that tab there to disable uh, Shadow Play temporarily. Uh, I'm not going to do that now because I'm using it to record this video. So if I switch it off, uh, I'll go away and I'll probably not notice and prattle on for five minutes and uh, wonder why it's not recorded. So just turn that off if you're having this problem. And then you need to use the register editor. So instead of clicking on the start button, just right click and then click run. And you'll see uh, reg edit, I've already had it in there uh, from when I fixed it yesterday. So you just type that in, press OK. Uh, click yes and up comes the uh, registry uh, word of caution if you delete the wrong thing from within the registry you are liable to really mess up or even completely break your computer so uh, follow these guides exactly and you should be fine uh, however I take absolutely no responsibility if things do go wrong uh, but as long as you're careful it should be fine it looks scarier than it is you are kind of delving into the uh, nuts and bolts of your computer at the moment. So, uh, we want a couple of specific files uh, related directly to Shadowplay. So, you want to go to hkey underscore current underscore user. Uh, you'll find a folder marked software, open that up. And then somewhere in there, depending on how many programs you've got installed, you should find a folder for your graphics, which uh, will be called NVIDIA Corporation. Open that up and you'll find another one called global open that you'll find another one called shadow play open that and you'll find the folder that we want which is nvsp caps open that up and you'll be presented with this list of registry files now there's two you want to use temporary file path which is down here at the bottom uh, that relates to the uh, uh, temporary file location, save file location on the system and then the one that was blank was a little higher up default path W, there it is now if you have the same problem I had you notice that in data there's a little string of numbers you'll notice that say in that top file there, that data is all zeros, that means there's actually no data in that file it's blank because shadow play had no save location set to record videos to this default path w was also blank 
and as I've said, you trying to um, give it a save location wouldn't work. But what you can do is you should have data in the temporary file path. So if you click on temp file path, right click on it and click modify binary data. And this bunch of uh, numbers and letters here actually directly corresponds to that file address, that save location that is the temporary file path. If you highlight all that data, right click again and click copy and just cancel that off. <coughs> and then if you scroll back up to the default path W and you right click on that, click modify binary data and you'll see here that uh, mine's got data in and just as an example it will actually, when it's blank, it will look, let me try and find a blank one. it will look like that. So that's what your default W path folder will look like if you've got this problem of not being able to create a save location for your videos. So all you have to do is it gone? Default path, there it is. All you have to do is modify binary data, right click, paste and it will copy in uh, the location that you're using for your tempi file path folder. Okay, so it'll be the same. That should make it work. Let's close that off. We'll go back into GeForce Experience. Back into settings. At this point you turn share back on and then it should load up those uh, files, read that data and set those settings. You'd go into settings, you'd go to recordings and you should then see at this point that tempi files will have an address in it and videos will have an address in it and they will be the same. Okay? Because that's what you've set. You've copied the address for the tempi files over into the file for videos. Having done that, Shadow Play now let me change the address. So having copied it over and made them the same, when I clicked on the dots, it now worked and I could select any folder I wanted to use as my save location. And that's all there is to it really. Uh, having done all that, Shadow Play has worked absolutely fine. I recorded some gaming last night. I'm recording this video, which you'll be watching absolutely fantastic so thank you for watching uh, I hope some people find this video really helpful uh, my thanks go out to the uh, GeForce forums and to Sea Donkey whose uh, workaround I've uh, copied uh, it helped fix uh, the problem for me <laughs> I'm eternally grateful and I hope it's some help to you as well so thanks for watching